And now to a story that shows us really firsthand how COVID-19 really can impact, devastate, and change a family. We talked to the widow of one of Indy's youngest coronavirus victims, and she has a warning for all of us tonight. She told our Steve Jefferson why she wants people to take the stay-at-home order seriously and the virus as well, and to quit ignoring it and going about our business. This is something I'm hearing over and over again. The wife told me her husband started showing signs of the coronavirus, went to an urgent care, refused the test, and instead treated for something else. My show Rhea Hoskins shared these wedding photos of her and husband Gary Hoskins II, the love of her life. She explained why she never expected to lose Gary to COVID-19. Seems very unreal. My husband did not have any underlying conditions. He was a very healthy 46-year-old man. But on March 20th, she says Gary started showing signs of the coronavirus and went to an urgent care. That's where they refused to test him for COVID-19, according to the grieving wife, and sent him home, calling his illness something else. They said that it was just flu symptoms, and they did give him some uh, antibiotic, uh, cough medicine, and along with uh, steroid. Gary still worked both jobs, and family thought he was getting better before learning someone at work tested positive. His employer insisted that he go to the hospital, something his wife says proved to be too late. He went to Community North Hospital, and he never came out of Community North Hospital. Now, as my Ria tries to come up with money to bury the love of her life, she urges everyone to take COVID-19 serious, especially since Indiana has reportedly not hit the peak of the deadly virus. This is serious. They need to wear their masks. They need to wear gloves. Mal Sharia told me she still checks her cell phone every day because Gary always sent her a text from work. She's surrounded by family and church members who will help her celebrate his life.